don't have fun. Um, it is what I always wanted to do. You know, fashion really is my passion. It's what I, what I love to do. It's what I have to do. Um, I love what I do. I don't consider what I do as my job. I always say, well, it's, it's almost like, you know, it almost feels like a hobby that has done really, really well. Because I love it, you know, and a lot of people don't associate work with enjoying themselves and, and they don't associate work with being their passion, whereas I really do. To all the fans that we had, but, but fashion was always my, my passion. And I'm, I'm living a dream, I really am. And I wake up every morning and I pinch myself. I'm very, very lucky. I feel very blessed. So I would say right now is definitely where I feel comfortable. I believe that I'm competing in an arena um, where actually I, I, I feel like I'm good. I feel like I'm good at this. I've got a long way to go. There's lots of things that I want to do. I was never going to be the best singer or the best dancer, and that was okay. I had four other people with me. You did quite well at it, though. I didn't do bad, but, you know, I, was, I kind of hid behind the others a little bit. But, you know, I really feel that I have something to give. I feel that I have a point of view, um, and I have, I have a lot to say. And, and it's great when you find something that, you're, that, that you think that you're okay at. So I say the best advice that, that, that I could give anybody is to work for somebody else. Work for another brand. And when I was working with Rock and Republic, when I was working with Linda Farrow, which is a, a sunglasses brand that I was working for, I was like a sponge. And you can take that opportunity to learn so much about the industry. And I did that. Mm -hmm. They were license deals that I had. Yeah. Um, back in the day, and I worked with Coty, the fragrance company, um, the fragrance house, as well. And I learned so much. And then when I was in a position to bring everything in-house and own everything myself and create a team that would do this with me, I felt ready to do it. So though I didn't really, I didn't go to fashion school, yeah. I was working for other people and I learnt an enormous amount of time, uh, an enormous amount in a very short space of time. The first thing that I think, um, I always want to better myself. I don't consider myself I don't, sorry, I don't consider other designers competition. You know, for me, my competition is me from the season before. I'm very ambitious. I always want to better myself. I never sit back and say, wow, look at what I've achieved. And to be honest, I kind of wish that I could do that because I should do that. But I always just want to better myself and what's next and how can I improve? How can I make myself better? I'm a perfectionist, but in the nicest sense of the word. Victoria? I, I was going to say that, you know, I think there are a lot of celebrities that have a lot of clothing lines or perfumes, and I think that's where what I'm doing is very different. I'm not just putting my name on different products. You know, I'm very involved. I go to the factories. I see the denim. You know, I, I work with the people that, are, that, that I'm working with, and I think that's what makes what I'm doing very, very different. I'm creative director. I've been working on everything for, you know, that I'm working on now for the last seven years. This has been a long, long process, and that's how long it's taken to get it right. I'm not just saying, I'm Victoria Beckham, I'm going to put my name on a bottle of perfume. I'm actually creating that. I'm designing the bottle. You know, I'm designing the label, and that's what I love. That's my fourth child <laughs> at the moment. Great. She, she was, was great. great. Let me ask you, Victoria, do you care what people say? what people think no, of you. No, no, I mean, I gave up a long, long time worrying and concerning myself over that, you know. I, I care what people say about what I do professionally. I care about what my customer says. You know, that's, that's what I do care about because why do I do what I do? I do what I do because I love women. I want to empower women. I want women to feel good. I want them to feel beautiful. And so I care about what, what my customer thinks because I want to give her what she wants. But generally speaking, I don't, I don't focus too much on anything negative. I'm a...